didn't see you there. I'm just doing my grocery list. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but in all seriousness, I just kind of feel like vlogging today. I have quite a few things I need to do, including writing. I'm going to do some of that. Um, and I also wanted to just talk about how, you know, last month, because now it's September 6th, oh my gosh, and I want to talk about how I did last month with writing, because, you know, I had, if you've seen my previous writing vlogs or them's writing word videos, you know that, um, I set a goal to write 50,000 words last month, so I'm going to talk about that. But also, in my other list of things to do today, I've got breakfast here. If you want to see it, I don't want to like, let see, can you kind of see it? It's just oatmeal, there's like blueberries and stuff, you can't really see it, but you know, I don't know, it doesn't really look appetizing, but you know, it's good. Wash the dishes, take out the trash, mail my grandma's birthday card, and write. Yeah, I've got to write. I've also been reading some books, and since you know, I'm a writer, reading is good, so I figured I'd just show you really quick what books I've been reading lately. Bloom by Estee Lalonde. She's another YouTuber. She's a, she's one of the beauty bloggers. I mainly just watch her vlog channel. I don't really watch her makeup videos really, but um, she and her boyfriend Aslan like to live in England, and they have their dog Reggie, and they're just like a, such a charming little family. I love watching her vlogs. They're like kind of like feel-good vlogs, you know, like they're so cozy to watch. So I, like, I got her book, and she's just like talking about like what the, some of the things she's gone through, her opinions on like, you know, life, people, work, beauty, fashion, home, travel, and food. Those are the chapters. And yeah, I just, I really like it because I'm reading it and I'm thinking about where my life is at this point and kind of the things that I want to do going forward. She's very, she talks like really inspirationally about, you know, not letting other, thing, pe other people or things hold you back and like kind of like the fear and anxiety that comes with doing new things. I always know that a book is really good when I'm reading it and I'm thinking about, you know, how I relate to the topic. Other books that I've been reading, The Dinner by Herman Koch. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's a Dutch author. And my cousins are actually Dutch. Well, they were born in the United States, but they moved to the Netherlands when they were really, really young. So, yeah, um, I should really give them a call. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this book is about four people. They meet at a restaurant to have a dinner, and I guess just, like, the whole book takes place over the events of the dinner. I'm only 68 pages in, but apparently it's supposed to get, like, really intense as the story goes on. So I'm waiting for, like, it to get to that moment where it's just, like, I don't know. I want somebody to get murdered. I don't know if anyone is going to get murdered in that book, but I just feel like that's the kind of thing that should happen at the end of a dinner, right? In addition to writing novels, I've been wanting, like, that's kind of like the medium. <gasps> oh, gosh, it just flashed. What was that? That's kind of my medium of choice in writing, but I also want to get into short stories, especially since I am thinking about applying to gr a grad school for creative writing. And, you know, it's I could submit, like, some novel sections, but I'd rather just submit short stories, but I have to write them first. And so I got this book called 40 Short Stories, um, a portable anthology by Beverly Lawn, Edgar Allan Poe, F. Scott Fitzgerald, um, Nathaniel Hawthorne, like a lot of the authors that you read their novels in for school. I already read a few of them and I really like them. I have a couple other books on short stories, but like once I kind of get more into that, I think I'll do a video just kind of explaining what's going on with that. But I also have Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express. Um, back in May or June, I think it was June, I actually read um, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie and I really loved it. I was guessing who I thought it was the whole time and I was wrong every single time. I'm only 28 pages in so I picked this up a while ago and I haven't picked it back up since. Not because I didn't like it but just because I'm not like, these past, this past year I've just really not been into reading that much. Um, and if I do read, it's usually like, I'll read like a couple days, but then I'll kind of fall out of it again, so it's not really been great. And the last book is Grimm, a comic book. Um, the Coins of Zakynthos, Volume 1, or Grimm Volume 1. So, you might know that my favorite TV show is Grimm. I love it so much. And so, I'm actually currently rewatching the show. We went on our trip last week. Right before we went on the trip, I had, all I had left to watch was this last two episodes of the series and so many tragic things happened in that those two episodes that like literally when I watched it I was crying I felt like because I love these characters so much that they mean so much to me I don't want to spoil it but such tragic things happen in the story that I'm just like oh my gosh and like I'm so scared to watch it like I am literally terrified to watch this to watch this show. even though I've already seen it I just don't want to put myself through it again but I also want to see it <laughs> so I'm just like I'm gonna let some time pass and then we'll see if I watch it but yeah I started reading I read like the first few pages of the comic book and I haven't finished it yet the books you might notice I'm sitting on a bed <laughs> this is my bed I really just wanted to change up the filming location today you'll see behind me 
I've got the word dream. Dream is my favorite word, as you might be able to tell from my channel name. And then I've got mermaids and just ocean themed things. Anyway, yeah. So these are the dishes I have to do. Plus this one. So that's what I just ate out of. You don't really want to see the dishes. Hello, so I'm about to just go to the grocery store right now, as if you care. But anyway, just, you know, little outfit of the day. Very, very casual. Got my rain jacket on because it's supposed to be raining all day long. An orange t-shirt and then just some gray jeans and ballet flats because um, these shoes are waterproof and I didn't feel like putting on sneakers. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, there is... You can see that. All oceany themed because I love oceany stuff. I literally like find new things to be really like interested in because my story is based off of it and so I do a lot of research about it and then I get really interested in it. So, the ocean, everybody. It's surprising how hard it is to put those things up. Like, I had to keep sitting down and taking breaks because like standing up there on my bed to hang, to like pound nails into the walls, it was just like strangely exhausting. I almost like was, felt like I was gonna pass out so I had to stop to eat. But anyway, I'm going to the grocery store now, so see you there. Here we go, walking down the street. Yeah. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, going to the grocery store. <laughs> Hello! People can be real jerks, you know? Especially in the parking lot. Like, I'm trying to go through so I can put my cart away after I load my groceries. This lady just comes speeding through the parking lot. I'm like, you jackass, what do you think I'm standing here for? For my good looks? So I can sing and twirl my umbrella in the rain and pop up on the lamppost? Like, what do you think I'm standing here for? I got my rainy day playlist playing right now because it's a rainy day. I just created this playlist a few days ago and I've been wanting to do it for a while because, you know, rainy, rainy weather is like the best. I think a lot of writers and other creative people might agree with me. Um, and so I created a playlist of songs that remind me a lot of like rainy days. There's a lot of Adele on here, Sam Smith a little bit, um, Vancouver Sleep Clinic, I have a song by London Grammar on here and a few other things, Merka Hackman. I'm gonna blast some music and sing along. Hey, so I am back from the grocery store and I promised you that I would do some writing today and that I would also talk about how my writing went last month and so that is what I'm gonna do now. So, first of all, I hit my 50,000! Woohoo! <laughs> I hit my 50,000. I'll insert some footage now that I kind of like did a bit of a vlog style so you could like see me writing. Um, I told you I would be on a trip last week and so I was on that trip. We went to Myrtle Beach. So footage of me is just writing in the beach house. It's like very late, late at night so the rooms, there's a lot of, it's yellow lighting so the lighting's not like great. Enjoy. currently 11:25 at night August 31st and I am at 48,552 words so I still have about 1500 words left to write before midnight which gives me 35 minutes this is not going to happen based on my past writing sprints I cannot write that fast but I will check in when I hit my 50,000 or I'll check in at midnight whichever happens first and I will not go to sleep until I hit 50,000 words so we'll see you then So you know, I am in a beach house full of a lot of people, so if you hear screaming in the background, that is why. But I'm just here to say, it is midnight, it is September 1st, and I have written 49,510 words. <laughs> I'm 490 words away from my 50,000, and I missed it. Part of me is like, you know, I really thought I could do it, but the other part of me is like, well, I didn't write anything yesterday, so what did I really expect? I will hit 50,000 before I go to bed because the way I feel, it is not morning time until I go to sleep and wake up. 50,044 words. That's right, your girl hit 50,000, 50K. And I hit it 23 minutes after midnight. 
It is currently 27 minutes after midnight because I had to pee. I actually just wrote like a really intense scene where something really bad happened and I think that really helped propel me to the 50,000 because you know things started to get it was like really exciting um so I was like really excited to write it so yeah if you need to hit a word count write an exciting scene when I go to sleep and wake up and it's September 1st I will have 30 days to finish this novel so now that we are back um yeah so I hit my 50,000 yeah I'm just so excited because I hit it. I set a goal and I hit it. I've never written that many words in a month. Although, like I said before, there was a lot of taking words from previous drafts. This is me trying to sit up straighter because I have really bad posture. This is like me sitting up straight, but this is how I normally sit. You know, it's like, if you look here, look at that hunch in that back. Look at that. Look at that. I should be in the Notre Dame right now. Huh? So let me just go over like kind of what my word count is. I wrote a total of 50,050 words. So the last day I started with 40,450 words on August 31st. So I had almost 10,000 words to write in one day. I ended up adding to my story 9,596 words in the one day. Now, about 5,000 of those words from a previous draft. So what I did was I added up all the words that I added from a previous draft and then I from that figured out how many words, about how many words I wrote from scratch. And so of the 50,000 words that I wrote, about 16,600 were from a previous draft. And so that means that I wrote like a little over 34,000 words from scratch, which is like really great. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself. I did a lot of world building before I started this draft. And so it was really, really fun to take those bits of world building and like weave them in and just like learn more about my characters. And I remember one of the things that I was afraid of in going into this draft was that I wouldn't be able to capture my main character's voice as well as I did in the previous draft. Um, and so that's coming along actually way better than I thought. I am getting her voice. It is a bit kind of inconsistent in some places because like I'm still trying to figure out exactly how she would react in a situation. It's hard to say what you would do in a situation and have that be the same thing as what you would actually do. So it's kind of a bit of that. Sometimes I have her doing the thing that she would want to do instead of doing the thing that she would actually do. But I think that when I come back for revisions, I can like try to fix that. But speaking of revisions, I'm already seeing some ways that I can fix the story once I finish the draft and come back. Not as many like huge structural changes as I would thought. So like how you know in a story there's like the initiating event and then the character kind of enters this new world, whether that's a real world or a figurative world. When my character enters that new world, how she gets there and why she gets there, I need to fix that reason because I kind of just needed her to get there and so I kind of put a a weak reason why like it wasn't the best reason for her to go there but she needs to go there and also you know I have like a main kind of villain because you know you plant little seeds to kind of hint at who the villain is and I don't want it to be obvious until like right when the main right before the main character is about to figure it out and so I have to go back and kind of like make sure that makes sense but it is September 6th as I said earlier today and my current word count is 61,656 I'm at a point where like a lot of the things are coming together. Actually, let me show you something. One moment. Ugh. Okay, had to go into my office and get something. So I have this little stack of index cards, um, which I've probably talked about in a previous video. But I haven't like, I still haven't done my outlining video, like how I outline, so that needs to be done. <laughs> so I got these index cards. I keep them in a binder clip because binder clips are one of my favorite inventions. These are my plot points for part two. This is what I have written. You see how thick that is? And this is what's left to write. So there's not a whole lot left. I'm about two thirds of the way through the story. And then part three is really kind of short. It'll probably only be like 10 to 15,000 words, but I say that it'll probably end up being more just because I tend to, I'm an overwriter. I'm just really excited because I'm seeing all the plot elements come together, you know? Like I'm, I'm hinting at things, I'm foreshadowing things. Some of my characters are like really having some amazing moments. There was a scene where a lot of people died. One of my characters was really, who was like the most affected by it. She just like, <laughs> she had this line. I go back and I read it sometimes and I'm just like, it's so great because it's it captures how she feels so perfectly and also it captures her character so perfectly because it's exactly what the character would say. It's not my main character who does it, it's a side character who's like sort of a mentor-ish to my main character. Um, but she's great, she's a great character, I love her. <laughs> Hold on. Now that I'm talking about this line, I kind of feel like I should say it. There is a curse word in here, um, you know, the F-bomb, because if your character is 
really angry, they might drop some words every now and then. This character is named Dari, which is D-A-R-R-I. She's Australian Aboriginal. So anyway, here's what she says. Those bastards are murderers, Dari said, her captivating voice slow and sharp like the delicate work of a sadist slicing a body. They will regret ever crossing me and my kitten because I will find them and I will rain down on them like the fucking apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. After the tragedy, they've all they're all meeting and discussing what happened, so yeah. I'm hungry and I will do some writing later, but to be honest with you, at the moment, I'm not feeling it, but I usually don't feel it in the middle of the day. I usually feel it like at night because that's just when I'm more creative. And I finally figured out why, at least for me, when I get like a little bit tired, I also get a little bit loopy. I think that that has something to do with my creativity like maybe that that weird state that I'm in helps to kind of boost my creativity and of course that happens at night my goal is to finish writing this draft by the end of the month and I really do think I could do it at this point I set a goal for 40,000 words this month just kind of like a really loose goal because I don't know exactly how long it's going to take me to finish writing this book so that means that the final draft will probably be around 90,000 words so that leaves me with about 28,000 words to go for the rest of the month um, yeah. Sorry also if I talk really fast. Um, that's just how I am. <laughs> I also eat really fast, which is funny because I eat like I have a bunch of siblings and we're all fighting for the food. I'm an only child, or I was an only child up until a couple years ago because now I have two stepbrothers who are so cute by the way. I eat like I'm fighting for food, but I'm not. I don't know if you can see that, but it's raining. If you look very carefully. You can see the rain. You can find yourself some peace. Hello, I decided to change up the angle just a tad bit. Got a window here. It's over here actually. Um <laughs> But yeah, I just wrote, let me add, let me do some math for you real quick. Um, my word count is now 62,275. So I just wrote like six, 700 words um, in about half an hour. And listen to a lot of music. You probably saw me jam in there because I was just going. Okay. I just got two. Can you read that? Chapter 21. It's a placeholder because I haven't named the chapter yet. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I think I'm just going to like really quickly tell you some of my favorite chapter titles. First of all, I love puns. They're really cheesy and lame and whatever, but they are fantastic. They're just really fun. And so, a lot of my titles are puns. Um, so, I'm just going to tell you a couple of them. First of all, my main character's name is Race. Um, yes, that is like race, like ethnicity, or like running a race, but it's actually a nickname for what her real name is. Also, I love Edgar Allan Poe. So the quote is, quote the raven nevermore, or something like that. And so I have a chapter that's called, quote the race nevermore, because she's saying that she's not going to do something anymore. Popular phrase from Star Trek is, beam me up Scotty. But there's like storms that take place in my book, so the chapter is called, beam me up Stormy. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Like this probably is like not entertaining to you at all, but like I just think it's so funny. Then I have a chapter called The Breakfast Flub, because you know The Breakfast Club. And another one is called The Desert and the Deep Sleep. I forget what that's a play off of. Oh my gosh, what is that a play off of? The Devil and the Deep Sea. So I have chapter 21 now. I haven't named it yet. I just flipped my index card to the next card, so my character gets to go on the shopping spree because she just got paid. It's just a summary scene. That's not even what the chapter's going to be about, but she just needs to buy some things. You know how us girls do. We got to buy some things sometimes. The next scene after that is between my main character and her sort of love interest. They're not really like, they're kind of love interest, but not really. My voice is a little bit hoarse from singing at the top of my lungs for so long. Because it, like, right, okay, so here's what I did. After I ate, I took a shower and I listened to my music, my rainy day playlist, and I was like singing at the top of my lungs in the shower if I'm feeling uninspired. A really good way to cure that is to take a shower and listen to like my favorite music and sing along. Let me know if you like this kind of vloggy style of video and you know, writing with me. Yeah, now I'm just giving myself more things to edit. Fun, good fun. I'm gonna wrap this up here. I will see you in the next Them's Writing Words. 
video thank you guys so much for coming along with me yeah down below let me know if you guys have any kind of september writing goals or if you guys do like quarterly goals or whatever your goal system is like let me know what some of your writing goals are um if you're a writer if you're not a writer let me know what some of your goals are otherwise let's chat Give this video a like, 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 like. Hit subscribe, 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 subscribe. Tell your friends, 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 friends. Draw that Mercedes Benz, 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 Benz. And I will see you next time to the loop.